Hi everyone. Let's talk through one more time, a little more slowly and carefully, the algorithm behind frequency analysis for cracking a Visionaire cipher when you know the exact length of the password. So the most important thing to understanding algorithms is being able to imagine an exact concrete example and know what exactly happens, because otherwise the steps are too abstract. So remember how Visionaire ciphers encrypt their plain text. Um, what happens is you have a password, in this case my password is key, and the password repeats over and over and over again so that one letter of the password aligns with one letter of the plain text. Each letter of the password corresponds to an index in the alphabet, and that's the shift amount being used. So H would get shifted by an amount K to get the cipher letter R. E shifts by an amount E to get I. L shifts by Y to get capital J. All right. So. In our imagined problem, we only have the cipher text. We don't know what the plain text is, because that's what we're trying to figure out. And we also don't know what the password is, um, because that's what we're trying to figure out. So if we only have the cipher text, how can we possibly break the code? Well, if we know that the cipher text was encoded with three letters, here's something we can do. See how I've underlined every third letter here? Let's call those letters group one. So I have. It, so you, you pick out each of the letters in group one, and here's what they look like when you put them all together into a string. What's unique about all the letters in group one is we know that they were all encoded using the same password letter. They were all encoded using K. So what that means is that in theory, this is a just a simple rotation cipher because all the letters were encoded with the same shift amount. And we have experience already solving rotation ciphers. Um, you could brute force attack it. You could try every single possible shift value. There's only one problem. Even if we were successful in decoding it, how would we know that it worked? Because think about what would this look like if it were decoded? Well, it would look like H, P, E, space, space, D, space, T, and so on. Because even when it's decoded, we're still getting only every third letter out of the plain text. So, we can't use the same strategy we did before, which was to check to see if the decoded string actually contains English language words, because we don't have words anymore. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to check the frequency of all of the different letters in the decoded text and see if those frequencies are similar to English language frequencies. So let's write down the steps that we have so far in pseudocode. Um, here is a cipher text called cipher. Uh, I'm just writing this test method right now called frequency attack visionaire three. Three means three letter password. And I give it the cipher text and it's supposed to attack it and return the plain text to me. If you want to make a different method that returns the actual password instead of the plain text, then you could use the password to decrypt the plain text afterwards. All right, so the steps we have so far are we want to create group one by getting every third letter out of Cypher. Then the next thing that we need to do is we need to run it through all the possible different shift amounts. So for all possible shift values, it might be decoded if So we'll use our rotation cipher decrypt method on this group one with the shift amount that came from the loop. So now we're looping through all the possible shift amounts and seeing if we can decode it. But the problem is, like I was saying, we need to know how is it, like how do we know when it's decoded? So here's one thing you could do. We could look at letter frequencies in decoded If they're similar to English letter fre frequencies, this is the correct rotation. That's the idea. Okay, well, how do we actually do these two steps in practice? 
So when I said look at the letter frequencies, that's the whole point of the bag object. The bag object was designed to let you ask questions about letter frequencies. So if we have a bag, we could say, uh, well, let's, yeah, let's do this. So we'll add, so we'll loop over every letter in decoded and then we'll add each letter to a bag. Um, I would probably break this out as its own method. Now that you've got the bag, you can ask whether or not the frequencies of the letters that you added in the bag are similar to English. Well, this could actually look like a lot of different things. So instead of looking at all of the different letter distributions and letter frequency distributions and so forth, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to say if most frequent letter is space, I know that matches what's true in English. And so I'll assume that this one is the correct rotation amount for the brute force. So that gives me my letter. And then I would just have to re repeat this for groups two and three. Because remember, this was all for group one, which gives us the first letter of our password. All right, why don't you give this a try and come back next time and I'll actually implement this exact solution.